This is a quick tutorial on how to produce a stylish image, particularly good on narrowband images. Okay, so here's my image of Pelican Nebula with stars. And so for this, I use the dust and scratches filter, which is under noise, dust and scratches. And you want to set your radius to around the 27 mark and the threshold up to about 50. What you're trying to do is include all the stars and just take out the centers. You can see those little black dots in the centers of the big stars. You don't want to set your threshold too low or else you'll start eating into nebulosity. Okay, so the stars have gone, but so is some of your image. So it's just enough so you can grab enough of the stars but not start to cut into your actual image. So 27 radius, 50 threshold for this image. Okay, and then we go in and do it again. And we come down on a radius, I'll come down to about 19 and set the threshold to about 30. Okay, you can see the stars are slowly disappearing. So we do it again and we roughly half the radius, so come down to about 8, threshold down to about 15. Again, just in scratches, radius down to about four, threshold down to about half, so about eight. And again, just in scratches, radius down to about two, threshold down to about four. And again, just in scratches again. This time, I'll bring the radius up to about 4 and bring the threshold down to about 2. OK, so the stars are gone. But, there's a couple of little remnants. There's one there look, and one there. And you get these particularly from the bright stars that you couldn't grab in the first instance. So we use the clone stamp tool just to take them out a bit and try and pick the clone area from somewhere fairly close because you don't want to alter the picture as such so we don't want to put stuff in that shouldn't be there okay so that's those couple have gone I mean you can go through and look at your image closely see if there are any major bits and bobs left over and just clone them out okay now we need to save this and save as and I'm, I call it as you can see starless so so we save it as starless Okay, now what we do now is load in our original image. So open, and here's our starred image. So what we need to do now is select it. So select all, edit, copy, and then we can close that down because we finished with it. And we need to paste it as a layer over the top. So edit, paste. And there you go, there's the stars image and there's the starless. But you can see that there's a little bit of detail missing. We've we taken out a little bit with the dust and scratches we managed to chop out a little bit. But don't worry because what we're gonna do now is set this blend mode 
to darken and you can see what is it? Ooh, darken right stay there you can see that where some of that detail is missing by setting the blend mode to darken it's brought you back in again look so if you're happy with that layer flatten image now if you think that your image is a tiny bit soft because of the dust and scratches you can make a copy background copy filter other high pass and you want to set the high pass radius just so that the black edges are just showing through you don't want to grub too much because it would look awful but if you bring it down so just some of the black edges are showing hit ok and set the blend mode I, s I use the blend mode of uh, soft light so if I zoom in on that you can see that it's just tweak the sharpness up a little bit on those darker areas and again if you're happy with that flatten the image save it job done